Hey everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to be talking about the drug Esomeprazole, also known by the brand name Nexium and more. You can use the timestamps in the video description to jump ahead. Esomeprazole is often used in the management of stomach acid related problems, like heartburn and stomach ulceration, and we'll get into more detail about its other uses later on. Esomeprazole belongs to the proton pump inhibitor drug classification, or PPIs for short. And for us to understand what a proton pump inhibitor means, we'll need to take a quick look at our stomach. In our stomach, we have lots of different types of cells. The ones that we're interested in today are called the parietal cells. The parietal cells are responsible for secreting acid into the stomach, and it's this acid that helps to break down food for digestion. Part of how the parietal cells secrete acid is by using something called a proton pump. Now, without getting into too much detail, the basics of what we need to know is that the proton pump is crucial in allowing for the secretion of acid from the parietal cells into the stomach. So again, the proton pump is crucial in allowing for the secretion of acid into the stomach. And like we mentioned, acid in general is a good thing to have in the stomach. However, some problems can start to occur if this acid content gets too high. Excess stomach acidity can actually damage the lining of the stomach, leading to things like inflammation or even ulceration of the stomach or the intestine. This is where proton pump inhibitors come in. As the name suggests, proton pump inhibitors work by inhibiting or blocking the proton pumps in the parietal cells of the stomach, essentially reducing the amount of acid in the stomach. This reduced stomach acid can help to treat GERD, peptic ulcers, and more. So what are some of the uses for esomeprazole? Well, like we mentioned, esomeprazole can be used to treat various conditions related to excess stomach acid, including gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD, and treatment of various gastrointestinal ulcers, including H. pylori-associated ulcers. H. pylori is a bacterial infection that commonly causes stomach ulcers. Esomeprazole won't actually treat the infection, but rather treat some of the symptoms of the infection, such as the ulcers or heartburn, simply by reducing stomach acid. Antibiotics are often administered alongside a proton pump inhibitor to actually treat the H. pylori infection. Esomeprazole can also be used for hypersecretory conditions, including Zollinger-Ellison syndrome, a digestive disorder that results in excess gastric acid secretions, and more. Typical dosing for esomeprazole in adults is as follows. For gastrointestinal ulcers and GERD, esomeprazole is often ordered at 20 to 40 milligrams orally once a day. For hypersecretory conditions, dosing can be much higher. Initial dosing may start at 40 mg once a day and may be increased to about 80 mg three times a day, or TID. PPIs generally have relatively few side effects. The most common include headache, abdominal pain, nausea, flatulence, constipation, and diarrhea. These side effects typically occur less than 5% of the time. Just some of the less common side effects include upper respiratory infection, especially in children, and C. diff infection. These side effects are thought to be caused by increased bacterial colonization of the stomach as a result of decreased stomach acidity. Another less common side effect is decreased bone density, again thought to be caused by decreased stomach acidity. In this case, the lower stomach acidity is thought to cause malabsorption of vitamins and minerals which may relate to the decreased bone density. Lower bone density increases the risk for fracture and osteoporosis. And last but not least, hypomagnesemia is also a potential side effect of PPIs. All that being said, keep in mind that most of these side effects are more likely to occur with long-term use of PPIs and are not typically common with regular short-term use. Of course, we want to exercise caution in anyone who already has conditions like osteoporosis or hypomagnesemia. However, we also want to exercise caution during pregnancy, breastfeeding, geriatric use, and more, as dosing may need to be adjusted. It's very important not to crush or chew proton pump inhibitors, as they are often administered as enteric-coated capsules, which require the medication to pass through the stomach and into the intestine, where they can then be absorbed. If chewed or crushed, the medication will be rendered ineffective by the acid in the stomach. It's also important to be aware of some of the potential interactions with PPIs. PPIs may interact with drugs like digoxin, warfarin, clopidogrel, and many more, either by increasing or decreasing their effectiveness. Dosing of these drugs may need to be adjusted when taking PPIs. 
And that's about it for the basics of Esomeprazole. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.